I grew up in China, and I came to America is because my ex-husband uh, married me. My marriage only lasted for five months. My ex-husband was an abuser, economically, emotionally, physically, and um, drug abuse. I'm totally new here. I have no family here, and no relatives, and no friends. So I need some help. I just wanted to change my life after I came out of the abusive situation. I wanted nothing. I wanted no memories of what, you know, um, what I just went through. I was in Women Against Abuse and I seen a flyer for um, customer service for Lutheran Settlement House. So I decided to make a phone call just to, I wanted to change my life a little bit. I was having a lot of problems with my boyfriend and I was afraid to leave him. I was in love with him, but then my family was scared for me, and I wasn't able to see my family or anything, so he kept me very distant from everyone, and then he started getting abusive, so finally my mom drilled into my head that I needed to get some help. I became homeless in November. We got evicted from an apartment. That day I dropped off my son at school, and when I came back, around 10 in the morning, the sheriff knocked on our door. He just told us we got 10 minutes to vacate the apartment. And I had just had my baby, my youngest, he was like a month. And I always have support or depended on someone like my mom, um, relatives. This time I was on my own. I take care of my mommy because I know it's what, what I should do. I'm back in a neighborhood that, where I really grew up. It's an area where I literally promised God and myself that I would never move back to. And uh, so I'm back with mom doing what I have to do for her. Lutheran Settlement House is a very safe place. They support women which, like me, need help and seeking for help. Olivia is my counselor and she gave me free 10 session counseling and she is very uh, helpful and patient and always very kind and I love Olivia. <laughs> when I came to Lutheran Settlement House, the classes were great. It just didn't deal with customer service, it dealt with you also. I was scared to tell my story and when I took the classes and I met other people and I found myself encouraging them and I felt like, you know, if I tell my story a little bit, maybe I can motivate and help people to realize that you can get through um, um, whatever that you're going through. Because of Lutheran Settlement House, I got this awesome career at Career Wardrobe. I did an internship and they thought I did great and I got hired as a program coordinator part-time, and then I got promoted to full-time with paid salary. <laughs> like, I felt like I was gonna be judged when I came, but I actually had the girl, Gabby, and she actually helped me a lot. She always made me feel comfortable. She, she was a great listener. She just made me feel better about everything. I'm not with him anymore, so that's a really good thing. I'm doing a lot better. I finally was able to get a full-time job because when I was with him, I was missing work a lot. I, I pretty much just gave up on everything, so I just didn't care. But now I have the confidence to do a lot of things now, and I see my family and everything, so that makes me happy. I got Elliot is my oldest. He's seven. He's very, as all my kids, handsome. He's very smart, he's doing great in school. And then we got Milton, he's the light of the whole family. His personality, he likes to talk to everyone, he's three years old. And the baby, he's six months old now, and he's a great baby. I was overflowing another shelter, and then I, they placed me after a week permanent at Jane Addams Place. They've had a lot of programs that involve my children, like homework assistance, um, early intervention for the two youngest. Um, I could enroll my three-year-old in um, Head Start. So there's a lot of stuff that the process with being there has been easier for me. 
I, I like the place, I love, the staff is great. They, they really care about us. I do for mom because I realized how she had taken care of my brother and me over the years. But yet when I stick the key in the door and come in, she'll say, oh, is that my baby? She said, baby, come here. I do that because she needs me there with her. So I take care of her. For the longest, I just felt good about, uh, you know, having, you know, come here and, and go to the computer class. And from there, I, uh, uh, I started going to the caregiver support group once a month that Serena heads. And it just like it snowballed and blossomed as I continued to come, the more I uh, felt more welcome. I see Lutheran Settlement House as a friend. It's like they've taken me into their arms. You know how you do a little baby and you rock them. And, and I, I feel like I've gotten that kind of attention here. And uh, don't think I deserve it, but I got it. And I love it. I do. I'm in a position where I can take care of myself. Um, I can I'm in a position where I can help people. Um, I want to be an example to people that you can get through anything in life. After I went through the difficult time, I feel like now I'm refreshed. And I encouraged by a lot of nice people in Lutheran Settlement House. I learned that I'm a more confident person than I thought I was because I doubted myself a lot. I didn't think I was worth it. I didn't think I was like good enough, but I feel very confident and I just feel a lot better about myself. Like, I actually feel worth it now. <laughs> I think I'm strong, I'm determined. I have goals. Like, I just don't want to just get the house in and stay there. I want more for myself. Like what? I, eventually, I want to be a homeowner and I would like to own a business. Like, not work for somebody else be my own boss. I am a people person, love people. Because a lot of times I find people want to talk and need to talk, and uh, so that's what I do. And I got that from mom once again. I'm just so grateful, and I'm so happy that I just kept pushing and I didn't give up on myself. Are you proud of yourself? Very proud of myself, <laughs> very proud. These are tears of joy. And when I think back, um, when I was in Women Against Abuse, and I was depressed, and, and I'm here now. I would have never imagined that I'll be standing here alive, healthy, and happy. I never thought I would. I'm just so grateful that I decided to make that first phone call to Lutheran side of my house. Today is a good day. 